Hello my friends, my name is Rick. Welcome back to the channel. And today I wanted to share with you how I made a steady rest for my 10 inch Atlas lathe. Let's get started. Helping me out with this project today is, uh, you know, my trusty shop hand, Charlie. Uh, he's a good old boy, helps keep me company. So thank you to Charlie. And there's my overall uh, lathe. And there's a picture of what a steady rest looks like. And uh, they're running for about, uh, you know, 225 bucks on eBay. And given that price, and they're not that complicated, I thought uh, I could make my own. Overall, I picked a quarter inch plate. That should be the, you know, for the frame of the steady rest. I just needed to cut out uh, two of these that I'll then sandwich together later. How to cut these out, uh, I decided I'd use my uh, high speed portable bandsaw from Harbor Freight. Watch this thing, it's pretty quick. Look at that. <laughs> and so, uh, I ended up cutting out that center portion with my plasma cutter, but uh, overall the, the bandsaw was really helpful. Now the key components to the three steady rests starts with this uh, one inch square tubing. Now the one inch square tubing has uh, eighth inch walls. And what that does is enables you to take a, a three quarter inch uh, steel rod and slip that uh, inside. It's a nice tight fit. And that'll form the basis of these steady rests. And then you just drill a half inch hole at the end, put a bearing on it, uh, and that should be good. So that was the concept. The bearings I was using, I picked up from Amazon. The radial ball bearings and with a half inch bore. So that worked out. So we're back here. Here's the one inch square tubing. And I needed to cut that up and mount it to that uh, those uh, to the frame. And that worked out well. And then uh, here are the various parts for the steady rack that I had to assemble, cut up, drill some holes. Little hocus pocus here to get organized. <laughs> and uh, and there are all the various components. And so. You know, here's a steady rest. There's the half inch bolt, some spacers, the bearing, and a half inch nut. Just as simple as that. So that's one done. So now we got those all ready to go, and I'm going to slip those into the uh, one inch square tubing. And then I ended up uh, ended up welding a half inch bolt at the end of those uh, square tubings and that would enable me to uh, screw in these half inch adjustment screws. So they'll go up inside and uh, and will push and allow me to fine tune the, uh, the position of each of those uh, steady rests. And there's the other top plate to the frame. I'll need to weld that on. And then there's the base plate that connects the two. And that'll be the that'll sit on top of the ways of the lathe. And then I put some set screws in uh, to help lock down those uh, steady rests once I get them adjusted. So there it is. There's the final, all uh, painted up, looking good. It looks good, uh, but now I gotta check it out and see if it works. So we're back over at the lathe here and I'm just sliding it down the ways closer to the um, four inch jaw chuck and uh, oh, there's a part that I used to actually clamp it to the ways. But before I do that, I wanted to adjust all those steady rests. And I, I do that as close to the uh, uh, chuck as I can. And then I back it out once I'm done with that, uh, to where I want to put it. And there we have it, it's up and running, so now we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do some turning for the first time to see just how uh, rigid this setup is. 
little bit of cutting oil. And there we go. Another thing that added a lot of rigidity was that uh, quick change tool pulse that I added. Uh, more to come on that. But what I did is I found this to be very, very rigid and uh, works great with those bearings. It doesn't cut into the, to the work material. I, I just love it. Well, my friends, I hope this uh, quick overview was helpful, especially if you're looking to make one of these yourself. Uh, thanks so much for watching. To support the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, we'll be back again here soon with, uh, with another video. Take care.